All right, Cancerians, welcome back. Welcome to your reading. I am sending you guys so much love today. Let's begin this message, Cancer. I'm seeing blessings. Just channel universe blessings. Good luck for you. Today's the 19th. No, actually, today's the 20th. I was channeling a message for November 19th is when Pluto goes back direct in Aquarius is that age of Aquarius is also the end of a karmic 16 year karmic cycle for the cardinal signs so we're about 29 30 days from November 19th so psychic abilities some of you have closed out a cycle um, you're beginning a cycle where you are trusting more of your intuition let's get into your energy cancer someone rising in Venus what does cancer need to know Maybe seeing 11.20 on the timing, 11.19. That is a date for you, okay? November 19th is an important date. What does Cancer need to know? Overall energy for Cancer. Someone writes in and Venus. We have transformation. Okay, this is Pluto. This is Pluto energy. Transformation, healing. So this is a beautiful energy for most of you. It feels to me like a change is coming. Okay, it's change is happening. A change could have happened already. It's an internal, it's a change within. Could be in relations to your psychic abilities. You've found the healing confidence, okay? Confidence. Some of you have reclaimed your confidence back. Channeling Scorpio energy, transformation. Give me one more energy for Cancer. Someone rising in Venus. I just channeled the worrier. I don't know where that's coming from, the worrier. Not that you're, you may be worrying about some, something. Be a worrier, not a worrier. Does that make sense? Okay, courage. Yeah, that's the message I'm channeling, the worrier. Reclaiming your confidence. Commitment is here. It could be a commitment to yourself. I'm seeing Leo energy, spirit guides. There's something here coming into alignment for you. Strength energy. Yeah, you're reclaiming back your, your power. Financial health. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. Dreams. Dreams may be important at this time. There could be a masculine energy dreaming about you. Saw fire energy. Yeah, dreams. Some of you are empowered. Yeah, you're reclaiming back your sense of authenticity. Your identity also. A new identity with this transformation feeling guided your spirit guides are playing a big role here i feel like i'm speaking to a divine feminine we all have feminine and masculine energy pay attention to your dreams right now there's a sense of um new beginnings endings endings of old ways new beginnings empowerment happiness through your life purpose some of you are finding a life purpose Discovering a talent, that is what you're doing. Discovering a talent, we have happiness, empowerment. This is beautiful. Let's continue with this reading. I'm seeing Virgo energy and the Five of Wands. There's a sense of an of inner battle, or it could be an, a battle, uh, tragic going on, where someone, a person is feeling the need to retrieve now to themselves okay from these energies five of wands some of you have been in hermit mode for some time and now it's a time for you to blossom with this butterfly nine of wands the wounded warrior so it is your time let's clarify this transformation for you what is this transformation this change the sun is the sun is almost wanting to show in this card i don't know if you guys can see it there's a light coming through there's a healing that you've done. See the butterflies in this four of swords. It's time for you to blossom, okay? This this window is being opened. Queen of Wands. There's a King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be closing us closing out a cycle here with a fire sign, another person, a younger fire sign. This energy could have been operating out of their shadow, meaning lustfulness for a queen of wands. I'm seeing temperance, Sagittarius. This 
is what's changing. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups, which is a release, a departure of some kind. What is this transformation, this change for Cancer? What is this transformation? I don't know what's going on with cards today. Okay, there we go. King of Cups. That is you. That is you, Cancer. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I just got chills. Confirmation. Capricorn energy. There's something being, there's something being let, let go of. Could be an attachment. There's a sense of reclaiming your power back, taking control back. This is Cancerian energy with a chariot. Ace of Cups. I'm seeing masculine energy, Aries, Six of Swords. There's a transition. This person could be moving on from a codependency, Two of Cups. There's also a contract, could be a contract with this energy. Something here is changing. Eight of Cups, I'm seeing the Eight of Cups. Aquarius energy and the Knight of Pentacles. This is about healing. This is also a wish fulfillment. I just channel determination. I don't know who's determined. I feel like there's a masculine that has gone within. There's been some sort of change. Yeah, change. Six of Swords. Stability. Somebody's moving towards from from rough waters to something that feels more stable. Could be a new connection that feels stable, that feels authentic. With this High Priestess. So there's an inner knowing. There's spiritual... There's a spiritual knowing. We have spirit guides. You're being guided. I'm seeing the moon. Pisces energy, very strong. So a revelation. There's an inner truth and inner knowing. Somebody knows that they need to make either make a move and leave something behind and move towards a new phase. It's the next phase for you. I'm seeing so many energy with the Six of Cups and the moon. This King of Cups is somebody who sits with a lot of emotions for you this could be an aquarius doesn't have to be knight of pentacles there could, could there could have been a delay here with this person i see a wish fulfillment a lot of water here six of swords but i'm seeing water in the six of swords king of cups the star there's water here there's emotions high priestess again i'm seeing pisces and virgo It's the truth that somebody's contemplating. Two of Pentacles. This person could have had an imbalance of some kind. There's an, somebody initiating initiating a new beginning. Initiating a new beginning with the Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups? This transformation is this King of King of Cups. The Tower. Yeah, it's a life change. I'm seeing Gemini and Virgo. There's an offer coming in from this energy. Breaking out of something that kept kept them held to a false sense of entrapment. Someone's breaking out of this. There's a sense of epiphanies, realizations. I'm seeing magicians. There's somebody here initiating action because you feel you, you're in power. You're showing you're showing in this reading in power as the wounded warrior, nine of wands. I'm seeing King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What is this Ace of Cups for Cancer? What is this Ace of Cups for Cancer? That landed on the tower. Page of Swords. Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person who's going through this metamorphosis, transformation, change, Pluto again, Mars, Mars energy, Two of Pentacles. This is an energy that could have been hesitant or could have there's an imbalance there's an imbalance going on this is about should i stay or should i go there's a there's a gain and a loss for someone page of source yeah this is this is failure someone feels like they failed connection that's keeping somebody worried eight of cups This Ace of Cups is somebody who's no longer indecisive with this Two of Pentacles reverse. What is this Ace of Cups for Cancer? You may not know what to do when this comes in. We have the Hierophant Taurus energy. Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
This person could be single. Five of Swords. I feel like this energy has an inner struggle. Okay, it's a it's, it's an inner struggle with themselves. Okay, this is should I stay or should I go? The Tower is something that they know. It's a truth. We've been seeing the Hermit. Somebody here is awakened. This is an awakened, spiritually awakened, masculine energy. You could be this Nine of Pentacles, single, independent, Cancer. I keep seeing the Eight of Cups. What is somebody here walking away from? The past? Someone's walking away from the past? Yeah, there's a cycle closing with other people that they're walking away. I see somebody reminiscing a lot about the past with you. Wanting to implement action or creating. This person wants to create or initiate either a departure. Because I'm seeing this Ten of Swords again with this Eight of Cups. Four of Wands. Someone could be leaving a home or a connection. This is someone that's feeling guided. Spirit guides is this hierophant, this masculine feeling guided. This Ace of Cups is this um, person either offering you commitment. This Two of Pentacles. I was looking at this Two of Pentacles. The Tower. Something here is happening with this masculine energy. Aries, Mars. Very strong Mars energy. Page of Wands. This is a text, a phone call. Good news. Someone feels excited, happy to communicate with you. We have the Ace of Cups. The cup is empty. The cup is empty for someone. Okay, that has that could have been their indecisiveness. This two two of pentacles reversed. There's no love here. I feel like there's been a failure, meaning something could have backfired. This could have been the delay. This ace of cups, I feel like there's been a wish. Something has been unfulfilled, unfulfilled for someone with a star energy. The Ace of Cups is showing reverse. Give me one more energy for the star. To someone that feels unfulfilled, judgment. King of Pentacles. This person is making an assessment. I feel like there's a sense of um, Six of Swords, Two of Cups. I don't know if these cards are showing reversed. Either I see someone moving on from a connection or not able to move on from a connection. Being hopeful, feeling hopeful, making a judgment to come in and balance the scales with you. Six of Swords, look, Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Don't, do not tell me no, and these cards were not in the reverse. There's a coming together with an energy that could have been in the middle of you and someone else or in between you and someone else. There's a sense of departure also, but there's someone that can't move on from this connection to a source. There's a mental conflict. It's that message I channel. There's an inner struggle because there's been a change. We have Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. This, the star energy is a coming together be between you and somebody else. This person has been unfulfilled for some time. I just channeled loveless and a loveless relationship, two of pentacles, could be a Pisces, the hangman, six of wands, king of pentacles. There's new perspective about you, communication, could be in relations to emotions, eight of swords. Eight of swords is somebody that has kept themselves from coming forward due to other responsibilities. We have the queen of cups with the ten of pentacles. Pisces energy, the hangman, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have a message from the soulmate. I'm going to say past soulmate. Yeah, but you have a message here from this energy. This person has learned a lesson. Looking back at the past three of pentacles. There's a foundation here that they built that has changed, that is now changing or is ending. Yeah, closing of the cycle, the world. You're in your power now, Cancer. There's somebody here that can't move on from this connection with you. We have a phone call, text, thinking of you, informing you. That is a page of wands. There's a masculine energy here who's ascending or you're ascending. It says you're preparing for union. The next phase. It's this Ace of Cups. Somebody here is awakened. I feel like it is a masculine energy. There's travel, Six of Swords. Give me one more energy for this reading. We have someone at a crossroads. I said, this is someone that has been in the middle of you and something else. There's a turning point here, indecisive. Multiple options, there's a turning point. Giving and receiving is a six of pentacles. Affection return to this queen of cups. 
Six of Cups, looking at your pictures, nostalgia, looking at the past. They're separate. Someone whom you are in separation with has been at a crossroads. Evolving. The next phase, releasing the past. That is the butterfly. This Two of Pentacles reverses this energy at a crossroads. Whether should I stay or should I go? I channel that message. There's separation here, sadness. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. I channeled this message in the last reading. Pretty sure it was the last reading. Reunion, second chance, back together. I said a Ten of Pentacles. This is the Four of Wands. Memories, the past, old flame. We have reconciliation, reunion, second chance, back together. Someone feels deeply sad. There's a breakup, separation. There's a breakup. Making healthier choices. So making healthier ch choices, third party. So legal matters, a divorce, justice, judgment. There's healing with a soulmate. This soulmate is healing. person could be at a distance from you give me one more energy for cancer what is the outcome here i'm going to clarify in just a second there's a lot of anxiety anxiousness um because there's a breakup clearly walking away separation we have it twice in the reading there's a separation have faith because love is coming there's a love offer wish come true is the star energy cupid's arrow surprise invitation i said i said that king of swords is single this is somebody who's single. Maybe this person might have gotten out of a commitment. Because I'm, I'm seeing separation twice in the reading. This is the anxiety that's going on for someone who has secret romantic feelings for you. Emotions. Secret. They, they keep their emotions secret. We have Ascension. A phone call also. Give me one more energy. Okay, so grounding. Stability, security, that is the Ten of Pentacles. You and this person could be mirroring each other. This energy, I think I channeled that message. Someone could be dreaming of you. This is an ex. This is a past energy. Past soulmate energy. What is the outcome here for Cancer? I'm seeing Three of Pentacles. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, communicating. I'm seeing eight of cups, separation. Yeah, someone here is closing the door on somebody, stopping communication to a sort. What is the outcome? There's a there's a person here that was trying to block this manifestation or new beginning for you. Five of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. An apology here for leaving you out in the cold. To someone who held back from you. Yeah, held back emotions from you. Four of Pentacles and the Moon. The outcome is this apology that is to keep showing in the readings. There's destiny here. Yeah, there's destiny. An unforeseen change here has happened for someone. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords. Communication coming in for this Queen of Cups. Could be from a Pisces. Mas masculine energy. There's There's been a change here for someone. That is this butterfly transformation. Again, very strong Virgo energy. This is their change. King of Cups. This person could have very strong water placements. I'm seeing Gemini energy, Aquarius, and the Ten of Swords. It's about a choice in love that someone here made that has turned out to be a failure. That is what I see. Yeah, this is this person now regretting this. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is this tower? Before we move on, I'm, I'm curious about this tower. Ten of Cups, I'm seeing the sun. That's a lot of happiness. What is this tower in this reading, this change? Seven of Wands. Certainly something that uh, I feel like there's this energy is trying to overcome right now seven, with the Seven of Wands. This person is trying to overcome something. The Eight of Cups has, show, has been showing in this reading um, which is a release. It's, it's, it's somebody turning their back. Seven of Wands. That is their tower. Yeah, they know the path forward. This is communication. Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Something here has backfire for, for 
for this energy. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Virgo. Whatever they gave to has backfired for them. I do see a gift for you. Five of Pentacles. This person's missing you. Could be a Capricorn, Scorpio. See, it's that choice in love that has turned out to be disappointing for somebody. It's an ending. The death energy, Capricorn, Five of Pentacles. This energy is leaving out a codependency out in the cold. King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. I said it. There's been a choice here in love. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me get some of these. Give me an energy for this reading. Time to go out and have fun. This is someone that's staying home. Hermit energy in hermit mode. Masculine energy that is ascending. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. I typically see this card as the Ace of Wands, Yang energy, masculine. This person's staying home. They're, they don't want to go out anymore. Something that they're trying to overcome right now that, with a tower. Give me one more energy. Something here has backfired. Compliments from an admirer. That is the Six of Pentacles. Could be a gift or a bouquet of some kind. Plenty of material things. Give me an energy. What is that? Deep person of strength and peace that assures success. That showed reverse. That showed reverse. I feel like there's a need now to be strong for someone. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. That is the two of pentacles reversed. Successful outcome to your problems. We have a key here. Money will be coming to you. There's a door here being opened for you. Give me one more energy for this reading for cancer plenty of material things you have a gift coming in in the form this could be flowers so there's a compliment here from someone who could have been indecisive they're traveling this is a masculine energy who's gaining awareness there's a successful outcome okay that is that is the outcome for this reading yeah unexpected income i see a gift here see this six of pentacles with this unexpected income From a wealthy man could be. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. Let me know if this resonated with you, Cancer. I love you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and light. There's a message of concern for a feminine energy. So, yeah, message of concern. This could be in relations to... They feel overworked. Give me one more energy for this reading. This unexpected income. This could be you. You may feel overworked. Message, yeah, occupation, something you're doing for work is changing. If you have felt like you're overworked, a message of concern, that, that's all changing. Give me one more energy. Somebody could be 38. We have a false feminine energy who's expecting a child. This could be a mother. This person is now in poverty. There's a message coming in from a main mail. Give me one more energy for this reading for cancer. I hope this makes sense for you guys. I hope it resonated with you. Courthouse, imprisonment. Someone may go to jail. Someone might have done something illegal. We have courthouse, imprisonment, and occupation. Someone here did something, could have been doing something illegal. Wealthy man, unexpected income from a wealthy man courthouse so, so there's legalities here someone feels yeah there's concerns this man is concerned i feel like this is a masculine who's concerned about their occupation because they may go they may go to they may go to prison lovers gemini energy yeah there's an energy here who's concerned and that may be a specific message for someone I hope that resonated. Let me know in the comment section. Cancer, I'm sending you all so much love and light. I'm going to leave the reading here. Actually, I'm not. Hold on a second. Give me one more energy to end this message for Cancer. Awakening. I channeled this message in the last reading I did. Unexpected messages. Major realization by the next full moon. We have a new moon coming up on November 1st. You may be seeing 111. By the next full moon. A major realization, unexpected messages. Also, give me one more energy. Near water, someone here lives by water, near water. Scales are in your favor, could be a Libra. 
So two energies are speaking about the outcome in this situation is favorable. The outcome is favorable. Near water, endings, new beginnings, miss your voice. Somebody misses your voice. Give me one more energy. So this is somebody you're not speaking to, going through an ending, having a major realization, awakening. The, icon, the outcome, I was going to say the icon. I, I, I don't know how that would resonate for this reading, the icon. That may be the name of a building, like a high rise. Okay, but I'm going to show you what's here. This just landed here. Pisces could resonate for some of you. Reconciliation could be with a Pisces, doesn't have to be. We have somebody asking you for a second chance. That is the wish granted, star energy, masculine, yes, incoming news. Text communication to a divine feminine. You may be blocking this and communication from this person. Or there's communication being blocked from a mother energy, from motherly figure, communication, empress in the reverse. Take the message how it resonates. There's incoming news, yes, from a masculine energy, a wish granted. Somebody who misses your voice, this person wants to reconcile with you. Big happy changes happening soon. Listen to your intuition at this time. There's a Pisces that could have been blocked or in denial. Healing a family issue. Magic has been reversed. Spell work. Releasing. Eight of Cups. You have released some sort of hex or curse or spell work. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. You are this person who feels foolish, like they made a mistake. Could be a Sagittarius. I'm texting you soon. Cancer, I'm going to leave the reading here now. Let me know if this resonated. I love you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Let me know if you're interested in winning the free deck giveaway. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you did sign up for the Patreon. I just, you know, you can sign up as a free member um, in the comment section so that I know I'm texting you soon again, Pisces. So I love you guys. I'll be back soon with another reading, Cancer. Until then, namaste.